this is going to be a Michigan team that's going to surprise people. If it's not this year, well, then exactly when will it be? This team has national title potential. You said that the goal was a championship. Mm -hmm. How close are you to that goal? Well, we're having at it. Um, you know, we, uh, as we said, we got we have high expectations, and uh, that's the cause. You know, there's uh, there's no cause we support foreign or domestic, other than uh, winning the Big Ten championship. That's our goal. That's our goal this year. How do you think you've evolved during your years here at Michigan as a coach? I'm kind of just. Uh, you know, see through like a baggie. You know, I just. Uh, What's see through a baggie mean? Transparent like a baggie. You know, I'd be a terrible poker player. You know, I just kind of wear, wear the emotions on the sleeve. I try to attack each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind and feel good about the job that I'm doing and I want to do it even better tomorrow. I mean, that's. So, um, you know, if that's evolving, then, then uh, I'm evolving. Well, he has trouble with the snap. It's picked up by Michigan State, and he scores on the last play of the game. Unbelievable. Cuts it back. Ohio State wins. Let's talk criticism. What's your reaction to people who criticize your record in perceived big games? Um, you know, fair, because we haven't won them. So, um, you know, a loss, tough loss, the mouth gets real dry, and, uh, and you know, we like to be by ourselves. We like to just uh, uh, be in misery. You know, you do the best job that you can, and, and there's always gonna be 100 people at least who are gonna tell you how you uh, could have done it better. September 13th, 1986. Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines walk into Notre Dame and beat Lou Holtz and the boys 24 to 23. I want every vivid memory you got. Everyone. <laughs> I just remember one, I remember one of the happiest feelings, you know, coming back from South Bend and coming onto campus and just felt good about yourself, you know. As far as the game, I remember Jamie Morris catching the touchdown pass on the left side of the end zone, going toward the, going toward the touchdown Jesus. And uh, You can smile, it's okay. Yeah, that was, that was a <laughs> tremendous catch by him. And uh, pretty good throw, I, I remember that being a good throw. I know it's the next game, mm -hmm. but what's the importance of this game? for you and for your team. You know, who could have it better? I mean, you go into a really hostile environment, uh, you know, they'll shake up the thunder and, uh, you know, Duke Rockney may even come down from, from heaven, you know. What's the impact of your personal experience as a player, being able to prepare your players for that environment and that magnitude? Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be chaos, man. It's gonna be uh, football at its most exciting level, you know. Go have fun.